In today's video, I'm going to show you a 200 IQ play where I actually unsubmerge my submarine. I'll show you why. Let's get it. All right, guys, we are against my man Frank here on the map Kuru, and I'm going to strategy a bomb farm and submarine here. So let's freaking get it. We'll start with our bomb shooter right here. Perfect. Got our bomb boy down. And then um, we will... What do we do next? What do we do next, ladies and gentlemen? We'll get my froggies up. Why not? We'll get froggies up. Looks like my opponent is starting with their druids. It's probably druids up farm here. Maybe I should have went with my bike around one. I sometimes I go bike around one. I'm not sure. That's the better play if going for the bomb around one's the better play. I'm going for biker later. I'm gonna try going for a late biker this game and see how that plays out for me. Also, they did not get their um open round one. <coughs> <coughs> my opponent did not get their open round one, which is a bit odd, because normally that's the route you're supposed to take as a druid player, so not exactly sure. What's going on there? Okay, they got their open round two. Put this on first for a few shots. We'll get the clusters up now. Perfect. Send them spaced yellows. We'll be able to get my farm up here eventually. And then we'll be vibing. So yeah, we're gonna go get earlier farms without getting our biker down initially because we don't have to spend that $750 on our biker, but then the biker is gonna be slower leveled. So I'm not exactly sure if this is gonna be a um, good route to take necessarily. You know what I'm saying? Not exactly sure. We'll have to find out. Get my farm. Nice. Send them pinks. Wait, they might have an eco strategy. They could have um, a druid elk sub, actually. Because they haven't sent me any space balloons yet, I just realized. I think they've got eco here. Okay. This will be interesting. This will be interesting. Nice part is I can defend all their group balloons very easily with bombs. So I don't have to like go for like any upgrades here. This is a nice part about facing eco. I'm going to be able to greed really hard with my farms. So against Druid Alk sub, um, there's definitely rushes we can send. There's definitely rushes we can send against an Alk buff Druid. We'll just have to find the time and place. The downside is that we aren't really anti-stalling these rounds too hard. If I had like Druid sub farm, we'd be anti-stalling a lot harder. We don't. The bigger bombs here. That should be able to defend black balloons. Trust. Trust in the defense. We'll boost this. I don't know why I waited, so waited for myself to get so low before I boosted. That was dumb. Normally that does defend, but I think it might be because I didn't have concussive, sell, uh, concussive shell on my biker. And I got my biker down late. In the past, that has defended. I'm just going to go for heavy bombs here. I, I know I leaked a million lives trying to save it, but I don't want to die here. So I'm just going to go heavy bombs. We'll just, we'll just buy into it. We'll just get the heavy bombs up, boys. I'm still leaking somehow. Hello. Ninja Kiwi, how am I still leaking? Ninja Kiwi. Sam from Ninja Kiwi, are you raiding my house right now? How am I still leaking? I have a heavy bomb, bomb shooter. It's just space purples. All right. We're fine. We're fine. So we want to force their, um, Alk buff. Yeah, we forced the Alk buff. Great. I'm not sure if they have enough money for camo detection, so we're going to send them a camo rush. We forced a boost. Do we all out next round? Do they not have money to defend and all out? Come on, kill him, come kill him, please. Let's go, oh my gosh. Bro, I was at two lives there. I was about to die to AI as well. Wow, okay, okay. That, that was risky, that was risky, I'll admit it. That was a little risky right there. We came out with the dub though. All right guys, for our next match here, we are against DFAQ equals OP. They're starting with an ice tower up top, which is interesting. We'll start with our druid right here. I think they're trying to anti-stall round one, is their idea there. We're getting my heart thorns up. And then we'll see if I can get my Oban round one as well here. Will be the plan. See if we can get Oban down round one to help me out a little bit. Be nice. But I don't know how much their ice is going to anti-stall. If the anti ice will anti-stall enough to stop Oban round one. I don't think it does. No, we got it. We got it. All right, perfect. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think ice anti-stalls enough to stop Oban round one on this map. So we got that. They're going ice and pat. And they're going some sort of farm strategy as well, I'd imagine. They're on some sort of farm strategy. Maybe Darling Ice Farm with Pat. I'm not exactly sure. 
Do my Heart of Vengeance up here now? Yeah, there's the Dartling, okay. So does Dartling Ice Farm. Alright, fair enough. Put some last. We want to leak some lives. We want to leak some lives, ladies and gentlemen. We want to get down to about 70 here. And then we'll have our Max Druid buff going in, which will be important. And we'll actually pass 70 here. I'm going to throw it on my Brambles right about here. Put this on... Yeah, he sent me Spit Group Blues. Put this on first now. Brambles down. Perfect. Yeah, we're good against these now. We're solid. We're going to upgrade this to a Druid of Wrath now. Send him some White Balloons. Forced Pad ability. Does this defend Whites? No, I was going to say, yeah, I think they need... um. I think they need Dartling upgrades for that. There we go. Now go back to Space Pinks. Keep throwing on those Brambles. And we'll start saving up for my Plantation here. Start saving up for that Plantation Nation, you know what I'm saying? Everything should be good in the hood after I get that Plantation Nation and we're vibing with Ryan. So they have Darling Farm Ice. Um, we have a big late game advantage with Druid Sub Farm here, so we do want to take it late. Um, and yeah, that would be the plan. We'll just farm pretty hard and take it late. I assume this guy's going to be pretty aggressive. I know this is number two or number three on the leaderboard right now, so um, they're pretty high on the leaderboard. But I think they have a really they have a pretty low elo, so I won't get that much score for winning the match, which is pretty stupid. Send him a couple of zebras. They use pad ability. Pad ability doesn't do anything though when you don't have um. Pad ability doesn't do anything if you don't aren't buffing anything. Like it doesn't increase the damage that Pat it's himself does. So it's kind of useless. Okay, they're getting their ice down. Well done. We'll just continue echoing. We got my reactor up. We're vibing. We'll get a pretty high eco this game. Will be the plan. I'll start targeting my brambles in a spot where it doesn't hit the track, so then I can leak um AI balloons on round 19 for a druid buff. Does that hit the track? Maybe I should target a little bit lower. No point for me to really rush them though. They have darling ice. Even with normal pat, I'd have to send a decent amount of rushes to force defense, and when we have the late game advantage like this, it's not really a good idea for me, you know what I'm saying? Get my second um second plantation here. Nice. What I will do is I'll send them a fortified mob next round, and that's mostly just to divert their attention. So then, um, basically, they don't send me balloons on round 18 when I'm trying to get my druid buffs in. All right. All right, we're good there. Got a nice druid buff. On both the Spirit of the Forest, if I want, and a Superstorm. So, um, if I want to get life buff Spirit of the Forest, I can do that with this, how I did it. I'll go for Banana Research Facility. I'll go for a little bit more eco, actually. I'll go for a little bit more eco. Why not? Why not? 2k eco is fine. We'll target the trees over here so I can fill them up. Make some money from the AI balloons. All right, they got double mark central market. They're a little bit ahead of me on farms, but I think I'm ahead on eco. Uh, no, I, I know I'm ahead on eco. I know I'm ahead on eco. I don't think I know. We'll be able to get my um banana central here sometime soon. How much do you sell for? 30k. So yeah, we want 34k or so for that. I think they miscalculated theirs. There we go. Get mine up. Throw these trees in the back. Now, we don't want these trees to um, get filled at all because we want to save them for DTs. So we got to make sure not to let balloons in those trees. It's important. I think I'll end up going for a preemptive strike for round 26. Will be the plan here. I'll go for a preemptive. Because I don't really want to go for Spirit of the Forest because, again, my Spirit of the Forest is going to have the life buff this game. So... I don't want to do Spear of the Forest because I did Spear of the Forest with Life Buff. Which means it doesn't have that detection. It won't have the top cross path. That makes sense. Well, Force there. Icicle Pit and Pill. <laughs> we did it right after they went for their farm. So they actually didn't have money for... um. That was funny. We did it right after they went for their farm. So they didn't have money for their Icicle and Pill. So we made them sell a farm there. That's great. Round 28, if they send me DTs, I'll just go for a um, Super Storm. Oh, 
Okay, we're good against that. We'll just get it up, just to be safe. I was probably just gonna get up anyways, because I don't I don't really want to take risks at this point. I think we're ahead by quite a bit. And I don't mind just getting that up. Target trees right here so it fills. Another farm right here. Alright, we're vibing. This should be unstrong. This should be unstrong. We'll get my Spear of the Forest up now. All these have five life buff. Five yeah, all of these have five pop buff. Great. I don't want to use the ability though. Don't want to use the ability of this guy because that'll give me lives back and lose the life buff on my druids, which is bad. So that is not what we want to do today. I'll send him a fortified BAD next round. Send in me couple. Only two. Those should be easy to defend. another one Boost. We're good. And yep, that's GG. Awesome. That's how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. Druid sub farm is still OP indeed. And um, that was one of the top players right now. So how much I only got 42 score, bro. And let's see where he is on the leaderboard. Let's see where he's on the leaderboard real quick. Yeah, he's number three. That's unfortunate. Well, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Ryan Michael. Peace lads.